When I first saw this, I looked at this and thought we're a little bit too close to the retaining wall, but everybody kept saying, no, you're good, you're good, you're good. Now, of course, we sent this over to Septic and their design team for the finals and we're not good. <laughs> so it needs to be 10 feet away from the retaining wall and 10 feet away from the house. And as you can see here on the plans, if you look very closely, we don't have 10 feet here. Now, I don't want to have to go back to the drawing board with the engineers and try to change that retaining wall because the way we have the retaining wall right now looks like it's really good to pass um, inspections with the city and everything. So we don't want to mess with that. So what we have going on now is we're back with the septic company and we have been now for a few weeks on changing this to a, um, a what they call a seat, a seat pit. So a little bit different than instead of leach fields, we have a seat pit. We can move the tank down a little bit and get uh, get our spacing that we need with the wall that we have in place. So uh, that took a while for them and their design team to figure out if that was going to work. We have drainage easements back here with this wash, so we got to make sure that we're not going to be our sewage is not going to be draining into the wash and, and down the street or anything like that. So we have to do another soil test. So this um, is something that I should have caught. I should have. I should have. I'm the one in charge of. The project obviously it's our project and i should have dug deeper and pushed a little harder on this one so this one's actually going to cost me an extra thirty three hundred dollars for a new soil test for a seepage pit um as far as like septic install it's going to be approximately the same price it was going to be anyways but now we have a whole nother test we got to do and we have time so all this time has been taking to get the septic corrected and done on the plans is costing us money too. So all in all, this is probably gonna be a $5,000 mistake on my side where I should have found found this out earlier, should have noticed it earlier, should have pushed a little harder uh, to make sure we are correct on this before we got too far in the process. So anyways, um, that's kind of an update for you.